Hello, NCCP and friends. Hello, Pastor Melissa. Hi, Pastor John. It's great to be back with you all. This is probably the seventh or eighth time we've recorded Yo NCCP this week. We're out of practice because we missed last exactly. week. Exactly, <laughs> and we're having some technical problems and all that good stuff. The devil's after us. <laughs> well, we are so excited about what's happening this week in the parish because we're starting our fall series every day uh, where we're going to talk about a shared Christian life and what that means. Uh, we're starting with worship as the topic of our of our series this week, and it's a great uh, great timing because we're going back to you know it's fall. Everybody's back from vacation and and going away a little bit less. We're back into school routines, and we really want to uh, start off with a bang. And so that's why we are starting with worship, and not just worship on Sunday mornings, but really being prepared every day for every opportunity to worship our Lord and Savior. I want to put in a plug right now because we have a great video that we're going to show that gives us a glimpse of what it's like to go to church on Sunday mornings. Um, it's not always easy to get out the door, especially if you have lots of things that happen at home and, and a family in tow. We know that it's hard, and, and so come check out this video. Or on the other end of, of the spectrum where maybe you don't have any kids in the house anymore or, or, or you just don't have kids in the house, but you might have health and other issues or a busy work week, and so it is difficult uh, to get up and out the door uh, to make time to come to worship, but we want to really encourage you to do so, and we're going to take a look at that on Sunday. Another thing that we're in the midst of is our new member class that began Wednesday at 730 at St. John's. We want to encourage you that this is not just a class for people who are brand new to the church or to the parish that if you've been around for a long time it's a great opportunity to come and connect with people and to continue to learn about our faith and just think of it as confirmation for adults and so we take a little bit of look at the history of the United Methodist Church we look at doctrine and teachings and we look about how we view things like the Bible and just everyday Christian living. And there's an online component for folks who have missed a, missed a week or maybe if you can't come every single week but you still want to follow along with the with the curriculum. Uh, so Pastor John even has a quiz on there and he wants you to take it. Exactly. And if you take the quiz and you fail the quiz, then I expect to see you Wednesday, 730 but I guess if you pass the quiz, you should come anyway. Yeah, because you want to brag to everybody that you know all the answers. <laughs> That's right. And so there are, there's, some more, there's some content that I'll be loading each day, and I'll send out a link to that. It'll also be a link from our webpage to this virtual classroom. You know, look on the, either the Grow page or the New to Us page on the website, and you'll find information about that. And this Sunday, we go back to two services at St. John's, the 9 o'clock Contemporary and the 11 o'clock Traditional. So that gives you four opportunities to come out to worship with NCCP. So 9 o'clock at St. John's, 9.45 at Greenmount, 10.30 at Grace, and 11 o'clock at St. John's. That's right. And so you really have no excuse. If you're home on Sunday mornings throughout the whole morning, you have many time options, many different kinds of worship and uh, we encourage you to try out one or two, or, or two, definitely one, but two or three. <laughs> uh, follow us on the circuit or whatever you want to do and, and just to get a good variety of worship um, every once in a while. So we hope to see you come out and we're looking forward to worshiping with you. Uh, and just check out what all is happening through the website and at, at, in your bulletin when you come to church because there's so much excitement. So come be part of it. And so until we meet again on Sunday, may God be with you and bless you. Take care. God bless. Bless.